In Investing 101 today, women are more likely than men to worry about money. Steve Ruxton steps in now with some tips for the ladies and everyone else that should help you sleep at night. Lots of people stress about money issues, but a new study out finds that women are almost twice as likely to worry about money and financial problems as men. Why all the stress? How can we de-stress? Let's bring in Chicago financial professional Sean Hughes of Hughes and Durant Financial Group. And Sean, hey, what about all the stress? What can we do? Well, women are more likely to stress over finances as uh, uh, they're concerned about things like running out of money in retirement, taking care of family members, and you know, studies show and we all know who lives longer. Mm -hmm. Honestly, those can be worries for everyone, but let's focus on women right now. What if you're divorced, never had to deal with finances, uh, or for some other reason, you're really not that savvy about retirement planning or investing or whatever? How do you dive in and get it right? Again, how do you lower the stress level? We just see women are a little bit more conservative. They do worry a little bit more. And uh, one of the things you can do to take control of that is to start working with a financial professional and start understanding how much you need to save, what your expenses are gonna be in retirement so that you can get more prepared for that. Other things you may wanna look at is strategizing for social security, especially mm -hmm. as you get closer to age 60. One of the biggest way that women and just about anybody can save for retirement is a 401k plan at work or a 403b. What if you look at the plan materials and say, wow, I have no idea what this is? Well, if you look at the plan materials and you don't know what it is, you need to find a financial advisor that can help you. In fact, companies are required now to have some sort of fiduciary financial education. Fiduciary responsibility. And, yep, and a fiduciary yeah. is looking out for your best interest and companies are required to bring someone in to give you that education. So you wanna to talk to your HR person about who that might be. Final question, what about an emergency fund? How well, important? It's very important because we never know when the unexpected is gonna happen, right? Uh, you could be cruising along and, and something major happens, an illness, uh, a major house repair. So you wanna have six months of expenses set aside. So as an example, if you need $5,000 a month to live on, you need to have uh, $30,000 right. set aside. Problem is most people don't even know what their monthly budget is. So we might need to start there. And uh, again, the assistance of a financial professional is crucial. I feel better, less stress. That's Thank good. Thank you, Sean, good to have you here. Thank you. Check out businessfirstam.com to find out where to see our entire show. And don't forget to like, follow, and share Business First AM.